My Nancy, I don't know how to begin to describe what she means to me, except to say I can't imagine life without her. I've said it before and I'll say it again. My life didn't really begin until I met Ronnie. But what do you say about someone who gives your life meaning? What do you say about someone who's always there with support and understanding? Someone who makes sacrifices so that your life will be easier and more successful. But what you say is that you love that person and treasure her. I, I simply can't imagine the last eight years without Nancy. Nancy Davis, this is Ronald Reagan from the Screen Actors Guild. Merlin Leroy asked me to look into your problem, and I have some answers for you. If you're free for dinner tonight, perhaps we could talk about it then. Well, I stammered, I think I could manage it. How about 7.30, he said. Can't be a late night because I have an early call in the morning. I smiled when he said that. Everyone in Hollywood who went out on a blind date knew enough to mention an early call. If the evening turned out to be a disaster, you had an excuse to end it early. Fine, I said, I have an early call too. I didn't, but a girl has her pride. Two hours later, my first thought when I opened the door was, this is wonderful. He looks as good in person as he does on the screen. My visitor was propped up on a cane and he explained that he had hurt himself in a charity baseball game and had just spent eight weeks in the hospital with a broken leg. We went to La Rue's, one of the best restaurants on Sunset Strip. In those days, the Strip was still the place to go and to be seen. By the time we sat down to dinner, we had finished discussing the Nancy Davis problem, and my date, who was more familiar than I with the mores of Hollywood, had come up with what he thought was the ideal solution. Have the studio change your name, he said. You'd hardly be the first. He had no way of knowing how long I had waited to be called Nancy Davis and how much that name meant to me. I can't do that, I told him. Nancy Davis is my name. I had known Ronald Reagan 10 minutes when he suggested that I change my name. More than two years later, when we came back to this topic, I would be all too happy to change my name to his. If ever God gave me evidence that he had a plan for me, it was the night he brought Nancy into my life. Sometimes I think my life really began when I met Nancy. From the start, our marriage has been like an adolescent's dream of what a marriage should be. It was rich and full from the beginning and has gotten more so with each day. Nancy moved into my heart and replaced an emptiness that I'd been trying to ignore for a long time. Coming home to her is like coming out of the cold into a warm, firelit room. I miss her if she just steps out of the room. It appears to an observer that after 33 years of marriage, you two are still absolutely nuts about each other. Mrs. Reagan, how do you plead? <laughs> Guilty. Guilty. <laughs> uh, explain it. I mean, it, it, is an, it seems to be an extraordinary relationship. Well, how do you explain it? We're happy. But why does it work so well? Want to have a crack at that too, <laughs> <laughs> Um. Well, I think um, I think we work at it. Um, we work at it. This is going to be a long interview. If we <laughs> <laughs> I don't know how to. And I just, uh, well, I don't know, as far as from a man's standpoint, uh, as far as I could say is I think Clark Gable once said the line to someone and said there's nothing more important than approaching your own doorstep and knowing that someone on the other side of the door is listening for the sound of your footsteps. And do you feel that every day as you come home? Yes. And are you sitting there waiting? If he had decided to go into the shoe business, I'd be out pushing shoes. 
you know, whatever. Aren't you glad he didn't? <laughs> yes, now that was my next point. <laughs> my next point was that, that actually, as it's all turned out, he's given me the most uh, fascinating, interesting, wonderful, frustrating at times, frightening at times, but a, a life I never ever thought I'd have. But I must say that to my way of thinking, the work Nancy has done can't be compared to the work of anyone ever before. Nancy, I knew for the first moment that I laid eyes on you that you were the greatest, and now the world knows that too. <laughs>